welcome to this edition of Lessons to Go. Today we're going to be looking at the right hand lead concept and using uh, Ted Reed's book Syncopation as a guide to play the right hand lead. Uh, the only assumption on this lesson is that you already know how to read uh, basic rhythmic notation, mainly made up of quarter notes and eighth notes. And we'll be converting those quarter notes and eighth notes from straight eighths and quarter notes to swing eighths and quarter notes. So I put up some graphics to go along with the uh, playing demonstrations and I'll give you a little bit of dialogue to explain what's going on while that's happening. So uh, take your time with this, enjoy it, and have fun. Okay, a uh, quick note about the graphic on the screen. The first four measures are out of the Ted Reed syncopation book. The triplets underneath show the sticking you would play when applying the right hand lead concept to those notes. Remember, the notes in the Ted Reed book are to be played on the right hand and accented. You fill in the spaces between those notes with the left hand unless you need a right hand to get to the next note. Never play more than two notes in a row with one hand. Okay, here's the same sticking played at a faster rate. Uh, just like the last example, I will continue to play hi-hat on 2 and 4, and I'll leave the uh, graphic from the Ted Reed book up on the screen for you to use as a guide. Okay, here um, we're taking that right hand lead concept and now we're moving the right hand over to different toms. Uh, I'm playing a kind of a kick hi-hat uh, basic ostinato pattern underneath it. And uh, just playing, like I said, um, all the notes that we were playing on the snare drum on the right hand, just moving it uh, around the toms. Okay, here's the same thing as the last example, just uh, playing a bit faster with a different foot pattern. Okay, in this example, uh, we take the right hand lead and include the ride cymbal in the bass drum. So now the right hand uh, that's falling on the ride cymbal is accompanied by the kick drum and the spaces in between are played on the snare drum. Hi-hats played on two and four. Okay, uh, same thing as the last example, uh, but obviously at a faster rate and the hi-hat is still being played on the two 